morning guys. Well, it's morning here in Japan and I hope you all slept well. And so the first thing I'm gonna do today's morning, I can't complain about that, can I? I think giving a knife to me is such a bad idea, a cutter. But um, first thing in the morning as well, I guess my company trusts me a lot. I wouldn't. Yeah, so apparently we had an accident. Um, as you can see, we kind of taped this box in a weird way because um, this box was delivered to our company and our uh, uh, secretary. She wasn't aware that this is an unboxing item, so she went ahead and opened it. So <laughs> unboxing actually already happened, but um, uh, she didn't open any of the items, so we just uh, stuck the box back. And uh, let's pretend it never happened. So, oh, let's open this box. So let's see, let me show you what are we unboxing exactly today. Yeah. So, today uh, we are unboxing Tsum Tsum. For this one you can have fun uh, piling uh, the Tsum Tsum up in uh, all sorts of different ways. Big, but okay, um, there are different uh, versions of this one, and we we got a Disney Princess one. Me, yeah. oh god, and uh, nope, still doesn't open. My top favorite princess will be let's go for Belle from Beauty and the Beast, so she's gonna go on the top. She has like tiny legs, and she's so chubby. <laughs> I guess that, that's how Tsum Tsum look like, right? Can't say I'm in love with Alice, so she'll go at the bottom. She's like wearing diapers. <laughs> well, the girl, I don't know the name of, the princess of long hair, the tangled one. Um, again, she'll go at the bottom. <laughs> Ariel is so cute. <laughs> look at Ariel. <laughs> okay, Ariel goes on the top because of her uh, funky little tail. So this for are princesses from my childhood and I guess these are gonna be my favorite ones. Lining up like them like this in a straight line gives so much satisfaction because they are so colorful and pretty and round and chubby. You just like, want to squeeze them. No, come on, come on. We can see that Major Rapunzel very pretty with like little flowers in her hair. I don't think she had those in the Disney movie. Yay! Ha, ha, ha. Um, I'm pretty sure that they will like fall in like next three minutes while I unbox other items. Okay, they're still there. Ooh! Stay. And they did it. Good girls. That's good enough. We have this adorable looking thing. Um, let me show you. Here, um, whoa! So like small plastic bottly things with like tiny little zoom zoom shaped. Are these candies? Oh, maybe erasers. Oh, so these are so cute. But 
If these are erasers, I don't think you can actually erase anything because they're so tiny. I have um, Mickey, right? Mickey is awesome. And we have Beanie the Pooh. They're so cute. And um, then we have Donald Duck. Literally, right now I'm testing my knowledge of Disney movies. <laughs> These dude is from Monster Academy, right? I don't know his name, I'm so sorry, but yeah. He's pretty cute as well. And me. He's so cute. <laughs> Here we have uh, the, the Donald Duck's girlfriend. I have no idea what her name is, but. And you know what I wanna do? I just wanna like. Yeah. <laughs> Here I go. <clears throat> This is what happens when you use these tiny erasers. Are these erasers actually? There's nothing written on a box and they don't erase much. They just make a mess. Um, <laughs> I'll just get one. One. We need a poo. 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 Do you pronounce his name as poo? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, my honest opinion, the erasers are very cute, uh, very fun just to have and look at and maybe play and maybe pile up uh, as well but um, as the ranger themselves, they just don't, don't function. Um, here we have, I guess, uh, these are stamps. Have you... Have you I don't know who he is or she is, but I'm gonna use him. She, her, her, it. Yeah, just let's go for it. Go. Let's go cover up the rubber mess we made. Rubber eraser mess. Yeah, this is adorable. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's go pick. Yeah, it's perfect. This one works well. Um, let's go with Stitch. Let's tap. Yeah. That's good. So far, I have just a collection of these colorful, amazing items. And again, just having them lined up here on my table ah, brings me so much joy and satisfaction. And these are so cute. What is this? What are these? Stickers. There's so many of them. Wow. And all the stickers are so okay. I should, should show you probably, right? I'm enjoying this too, <laughs> too much by myself. But yep, here we have Tsum Tsum sticker book. And here we have some sexy Tsum Tsum butts. The sketchy one. Sketchy? The like sketch. Sketchy ones. So, all sorts of different stickers. Um, yeah, so this is so adorable. The book itself is really cute. Um, it's like, uh, you know, glittery and shiny. So pretty. Addition to my item collection. And which brings me to, I think, my final item of today's unboxing video. Whoa, which is pretty heavy and big. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> this, this is amazing. So, as you can see, this is like a machine and uh, um, this is used to serve and eat a type of noodles and usually we, uh, we eat them in summer because uh, you eat them straight out of the cold, chilly, cool water. The water is constantly running. And so people sit along the bamboo the tube thingy and uh, the noodles are uh, being put inside of the water and so the noodles uh, flow uh, and that's how we call, have this flowing noodles. So hot in Japan in summer, right? Cool chilled noodles straight from the water and just catching them is so much fun. And so uh, that's the traditional way of eating it, going to the restaurant having this bamboo uh, tube thing and getting your noodles from there, but I guess some people loved it so much that they created 
the, mach the, the machine <laughs> uh, which uh, you can use to eat Nagashi Somen. It's a great thing, a way to experience a Japanese culture. And this type of um, thing is so uh, unique to Japan. So uh, if you want to maybe bring a souvenir uh, from Japan or if you just want to get something very Japanese for yourself or your friends, I guess this is like the best thing. And uh, today's theme is Tsum Tsum, so we have uh, this um, machine and this pretty box uh, of Tsum Tsum. So I guess it's in collaboration with Disney and Tsum Tsum, right? Ideally, this machine is for two people, but um, I can easily see uh, up to four or five people uh, using it at the party, right? To serve uh, noodles. Oh, the machine is so cute, look at it. And it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like has like sparkles all over it. So it's like a sparkling Tsum Tsum machine. Okay, so we have base and then on the top, we have this part. So, well, I can see this goes on top, right? Right, so, uh, in order to make the machine work, you'll need uh, two batteries once you open the battery case you can see uh, how big the size is supposed to be uh, in Japanese it's size 2 so big chunky batteries two of them to make this thing work and then uh, you just put the water inside the basin the, <laughs> the baseline and then the batteries inside here this space here is for the topping um, here you can put uh, wasabi the horseradish, if you call it, and uh, or it's like the spring onions or whatever topping you like with your noodles. And uh, so the topping goes here, and then you will have your um, the dip. Uh, so you have the topping here. Usually, what I do put the topping inside of a, a dip a soup sauce thing. Get your noodles prepared. I have some here. Um, so let me push the button and see what happens. Oh wow! <laughs> the uh, the water keeps uh, flowing around, right? And now uh, it's pretty strong. The power is strong. This should get my noodles flowing. Let's see if it works. So here I have some noodles. Just let's pick them out, trying not to break them. You see how long these are. Right, and here we go inside. This is so cool. Okay, this is actually the thing. This is actually how it works. So the noodles are flowing around, right? Why is this cool? Because so here, if you have just dry noodles, they're all stuck together and kind of disgusting, right? So we don't want to eat this. We want to put these in water so they get separated. They get chilled, uh, cooled down, and then um, you go ahead and test your chopstick skills and catch the noodles, take them out and put in the salt and in your mouth. So here I go. Just uh, stick your chopsticks in, and then the noodles will uh, naturally like um, get tangled, right? So and here you have your noodles. Get them out. Dip them in, and go for it. This is perfect. This is the actual thing. The only thing I regret thing is um, not getting the topping. Um, so let me put more and see how be how how many noodles can I actually get in one go. <laughs> okay, I'll be girly and I get a bit, a bit uh, eat uh, little by little, right? Hmm. So I guess. This is it for today. Today was amazing. I really enjoyed this part of unboxing eating. We had our stickers, um, we had our stamps, and we had our erasers, which do not erase, but which are adorable. 
We had this uh, noce cara, the, ca the little figurines which you put on top of each other to make all sorts of ridiculous fun um, arrangements. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video guys. Uh, I had so much fun. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the items we introduced to you today. Uh, so again, thank you for using our service. Thank you for having interest in from Japan and thank you for watching our videos. Please let us know what uh, videos you would like to see uh, next time, what kind of what would you like to get unboxed here and we'll just do our best to accommodate your wishes and requests. See you hopefully next time.